Should you invest with Kathy Wood? A pretty popular question, not as popular as it used to be, but her name is still floating around out there and I wanted to continue to give my thoughts because I continue to see her name in the headlines. And yeah, like I said, questions every now and then come in talking about her funds and I just wanna give you my thoughts on things. Uh, for you longer time viewers, you know where this is all headed, but we have another headline that just proves my point and I've been talking about this over and over again, but I don't want to waste your time. So to answer the question up front, no, you should not invest with Kathy Wood because she doesn't know what she's doing. She's not very good at it at all, as I'm gonna demonstrate in just a moment with this newest, I guess, revelation to her, but that in and of itself proves my point. Now, Kathy Wood reminds me, and this will mean more to those of you that have a reference point back to, you know, who, who here knows what Investors Hub is, right? Think back to the message board days where you would get somebody and they would just pump and pump and pump, talk all about how great something is. And even when it went down, no, everything's fine, buy the dip, it goes down more, strong hands, everything is okay. Think about the meme where you know the, the dog's in the house and everything's burning and it's like, everything's just fine. That is essentially as Kathy would. And to think that she didn't, see this coming, you know, this is where the disconnect starts to happen as I'm gonna see, but let's just first start off with establishing the fact that, yeah, I've been talking about Kathy Wood for a while. So here's a video I did a long time ago, back on June 9th of 2021, where I just flat out called her a pumper and I went over my reasoning and I've done several videos since then that you can check out on the channel, but this was the one that really got the ball rolling. And as I've always said, I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. Trading is very difficult. Investing is very difficult. However, a lot of this stuff is just blatantly obvious. So in no way, shape, or form am I trying to imply that I am some sort of great, brilliant, genius investor, nothing at all. And I'm gonna show you that here in just a moment too because the, the things that she was doing is just not impressive. She doesn't have any sort of actual track record. Keyword being actual, I get it. You could say, well, Clay, didn't you know her fund made huge, huge growth back during COVID? Well, yes, and that's a fair point, but I mean, 90% of funds, 90% of stock, I mean, everything was going straight up then, right? Even used cars were going up in value. It was essentially impossible to not make money during that period everything was going up. So that's what I mean by actual, meaning let's take, you know, that's sort of a bizarre data point. Again, used cars going up in value, what? But taking that and setting it aside, let's look at just normal times. And what has happened since that video that I did? Her funds have gone down and down and down. Why? Well, because she loaded up, went all in on very, very, sketchy companies, very, very, let's just put it, not profitable companies, very, very debt-ridden companies, companies that didn't have any earnings, they had a lot of debt, they needed to take on debt because they were growth companies, which leads into the headline that just came out and goes, and like I said, let's just go to the headline and then I'll walk you through it. So Kathy Wood says, rising interest rates hit her strategy like an earthquake. Now, yes, she's absolutely correct, but this is what I mean by she's not very good at her job. Part of having a strategy, part of you know marketing that strategy, hey, my funds, all that stuff, part of that is you need to recognize certain things. You need to see certain things and have some foresight about different economic activities, macroeconomic environments, and what sort of pieces, if moved, how will they affect your strategy? So while I'm not saying she should have abandoned her strategy, because the strategy is a strategy, what I am suggesting is that people that are good at strategies, that have good strategies, are gonna be able to maneuver. They're gonna be able to, well, put, them, put the strategy in the best, possible spot to not always make money because nothing always makes money, but to not get absolutely destroyed or get, in her words, hit like an earthquake like Kathy would. But this is where I go back to none of this is me being a genius. None of this is me proclaiming like I got it all figured out. And none of this is hindsight, which is why I wanted to show you that I've been talking about this with her since a couple years ago, but just very basic things. And if a, you know, a simpleton like me can recognize these things, should you invest with somebody like that? No, I mean, this stuff seems so obvious. I mean, think about it. At a very foundational core, 
I'm assuming, so this is gonna sound like I'm patronizing you, but I'm not. I just want to under, want you to understand how basic this stuff is that apparently she didn't understand what happened or didn't see coming, but rising interest rates mean, well, debt will be more expensive, right? So companies that don't make any actual money because they're speculative, they're startups, they're, they're, they're cutting edge, whatever, those sorts of companies have lots of debt. So if debt is getting more expensive, what is going to happen to those companies? Well, those companies, it's gonna be even harder to make money. Why? Well, because their debt expenses have gone up. And like any company, if companies' expenses go up, well, you know what? It's gonna be that much harder to turn a profit, let alone even get a profit. And when a bunch of companies are going to all experience the same thing, how, how did she not connect these dots? How did she not decide to say, you know what? I'm in a bunch of companies that don't make any money, they don't pay dividends, they don't have any sort of actual earnings, they're all growth, and now all of a sudden their life is gonna get more expensive because the Fed has been forecasting, so that's another thing. It's not like the Fed just, out of nowhere, started raising interest rates. No, they forecasted this. They forecasted, hey, we're getting ready to raise, hey, we're gonna be raising, hey, we're gonna be raising. So she knew that that was coming, but she didn't connect the dots that the higher interest rates would cause debt payments to get more expensive. Do you see how these are just very basic principles, but apparently Kathy Wood didn't see the earthquake that was coming? To me, there's just too much of a disconnect. And when you don't have any sort of credible track record other than the time when everybody was making money, no, you, you should not invest with her until she shows that she knows what she's doing until she shows that she's actually good at seeing how different macroeconomic environments could influence her strategy. Because as of now, yeah, she's factual that rising rates hit her strategy like an earthquake, but she should have she should have known that. But you go through the you know you go through the history of the videos on the channel I've done, and the whole time, no, 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 everything's fine. No, 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 no. It's it's a great buy. Buy the dip. All sorts of things. Hey, we're on the five-year plan, and that she's been saying that, you know, for the past however, forever long, and it's just it's not worth it. So, like I said, I'm not going to walk you through every video I've done, but in terms of what are my thoughts, no, don't invest with her. Now, could that change? Could she get her act together? Sure, every, everybody can change, everybody can adapt, but as of right now, with whatever, with everything that I've seen, including this new headline. It, it, she doesn't, in my mind, she has not proven that she knows at all what she's doing other than, hey, let's go all in on some super speculative stocks and then let's see what happens. And for a while that worked, but then it didn't work anymore. And then she, she wonders why or she's just not realizing it. Uh, but yeah, those things, just too many disconnects that I would think that a, a quality fund manager should have been able to connect those dots. So those are my thoughts. Maybe you disagree. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. If you enjoy these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. Check out the channel as a whole. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.